All right, so up to this point, my team was kind of getting dumped, but I dropped a rot and they sent four top for it. And so after that team fight, we kind of got an advantage and we had Ash Janna, which is really strong. So we ended up winning most team fights and we eventually got Baron and ended. All right, so this game, I got a really good trade on the Jace. I ended up pushing him up to his tower and he stays thinking he can get enough sustain from Ocean. Down. All right, so here I try to interrupt Kassin's recall with this TP, and I see Graves in a position to fight the Rek'Sai. Unfortunately, Rek'Sai had just bought, and I don't think Graves had bought yet. Rek'Sai has a warrior enchant, and he just dumps on the Graves. Unfortunately, I get a little greedy here, and I forgot about Chase. Yep, that in fact was your fault. And at the time I was kind of annoyed that he got 1v1 so hard, but I shouldn't have got so greedy. All right, so Syndra's making a run play top. The only problem is we don't know where any of them are. So at this point, the game score is 13 to 20. It's looking really bad for us. All right, so at this point in the game, we're still down by like 4.7K gold. But I think a lot of their gold is actually on Draven. Then Syndra makes a huge play. All right, so here Draven gets kind of caught out. Then Jin places a really well-timed W and our team manages to chain CC beautifully. A nice chain CC. We have a mushroom, we did. Hit me, baby. Holy crap, he saved me. All right, so we end up getting mid and bot tower off of that fight, but we just go mid again. Holy crap, nice stun. Nice. Nice. Holy crap, yes. All right, so this point we're actually ahead by 5K gold almost, and they are pretty mentally defeated. It's too, like, pretty low. Oh, nice. Holy Jesus. All right, so this game was beyond frustrating. As you can tell, we're already up to a great start. My team ends up being okay in the laning phase. I dump on the cat and Jace dumps on mid, but this team is just making such poor decisions. Like right now, for example, Nunu and Leona are roaming into the enemy jungle and leaving Corky alone bottom. Corky needs help. Hello team. Why are you guys diving mid when Corky needs help? And for some reason, this Nunu puts really high priority on Windrake. So he baits the team into a terrible fight. Or she might lose everyone over the Wind Dragon. So worth, so worth. So worth. What a great dragon play. But then something miraculous happens and the enemy team sends two top for our worthless Nunu while Infernal Drake's about to spawn. So we end up getting Infernal Drag, but for some reason Corky goes bottom. He should just be thinking back and let's all group up. And he definitely shouldn't be splitting against a fed Twitch. On the bright side though, it did look like Twitch Flash, so he won't have that up for a team fight. All right, so again, you guys, Corky is split pushing and we have no idea where they are. Guess what happens? All right, so at this point I get caught trying to wave clear. Can I get a mushroom off or is that too hard? All right, so I have absolutely no idea what Leona and Nunu are trying to do 2v4 when they have no damage nearby at all. They're both supports. 
All right, so there's four mid and Nunu's pretty low. So what does Jace do? He goes in. All right, so if you see the Nunu in the top left, he's snowballing the Thresh, which should be a free kill. So I go over to cut off the Thresh's escape and Corky just doesn't follow up and just farms in mid lane. Maybe, he doesn't, maybe kills don't matter. I'm dead. I'm not. Dead. God, am I gonna live? Holy crap. Please. Yes. Clutch. The enemy team chased me way too hard and they lost three. So we're starting Baron and check out what Jace does. It literally felt like I was a preschool teacher and the kids were running around just painting on the walls and stuff. And I was just like, kids, stop doing that. We got Baron and we pushed down mid and yet again, Jace does something silly, which starts going off. And if we lose this team fight, we're probably gonna lose the game. We're gonna live. Splash, splash. I should my turn this. How am I getting kills? I have no damage. I'm going for that quadra. Kind of Alright guys, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And I have a bonus clip from earlier. It was kind of a funny play. Oh god. That was unfortunate. Well, that was pretty good. Well, that was pretty good! Yes! Also, I'm playing this game called Rust on stream, and it's actually really fun. If you guys want to see more clips of Rust in the future, let me know. Also, please let me know if you guys like this style of editing where I do voiceover. It takes a lot of work, but if you guys like it, I'll do it more often. Dude. Dude, that's that's close enough. That's close enough. It's close enough. I got a spear. I'm not afraid to use it. I will spear you. I this guy's playing at. Holy crap. Oh, thanks for the rock, dude. Thank you. Holy Jesus. He's not friendly. I think he tried to throw the rock at me. <laughs> no. This guy is going to kill me a bit. Got him. Yeah, that's right. So I thought, get away. Go away. That's what I thought. I got plenty more where that came from. Got plenty more where that came Let's throw it at him. I don't, if I throw it at him, he can pick it up though. Dude, you don't want any of this spear. You don't want this spear. I don't want to die here. That's why I thought, kid, get out of here. And we just dumped on him. What did he have? He had nothing. He actually had nothing. Dude, that was so intense.